Hi everyone, welcome to today's video. My name is Donnie and today I'm going to share with you one question that I had uh, from one of my trainees. And But before that, let me first say hi to uh, you guys. It's been quite some time before I made the video. The first uh, few months of the year are usually busy for me. And now I'm back and I'm here to answer some questions that I gathered from the classes that I've handled in the first quarter of uh, 2025. So one of the questions that I got was from a, a former student of mine. And the question is that uh, she has this data wherein it's composed of some, some uh, values wherein there are repetitions of items. Then let's say here we have items and then there are several branches or sites. And the idea is that she wants to know how many unique values are there for the items, but only if it follows a value from a certain branch. So meaning, I will not literally just count unique values, but it has to come from a certain branch only. So to generalize the problem, it's more of like she wants to count the unique values, but only if the... Uh, row satisfies the condition that let's say in this one it's from Sydney. So there are functions in Excel that are supposed to help us with this one. Um, we will discuss each function so that you would know sort of like the breakdown of how uh, the function works. So of course the table that we have here has order ID, item names that we want to count, the branches which will set the condition and some other random column so just to differentiate, I will mark that, that is, uh, those are the headers, you know, just for aesthetic purposes. Now, the first function that will help us in this scenario is the um, unique function. So the unique function's job is to list down the unique values of a certain column or range of cells. So we'll start with unique and then open parentheses, and then we simply have to highlight or include in the unique function the range of cells that we want to extract unique values from. So let's say for this one, I'm going to count or I'm going to extract the unique list of values from B2 and then downwards. So I press Control shift down to highlight all my data from that column starting from B2. I have to ignore B1 because if I do that, then it would count that first cell. So we need to start at B2 and then drag downwards and then close. So these are all, this is all that is required of the unique function. So when we enter this, you will end up with a spilling formula. And this spilling formula would be a list of all unique values came from that range of cells. So you see how it is shorter than the column that we just uh, highlighted because this is now just the unique values. So the idea here is that if you want to count unique values, you simply have to um, use this, the result of unique function, together with the function that is supposed to count values and that would be the count A function. So I have to use count A because these are words or texts that I am counting. The A here means all or any. And if I enter, I will get 25. <clears throat> Take note that if I use just count, I will get zero because count is for numbers. And columns B2, to cells B2 to B38 to are comprised of words or texts, so count will not work here. We have to use count A, which doesn't really distinguish between text or numbers. It simply counts anything, text or number. So based on this, the result is 25. There are 25 unique items in this list. However, the question of my student was that she only wants to count those that are unique values for a certain criterion under another column. So for example here, 25 would be the count of everything under column B, 
but I need to filter them out in such a way that only those, let's say, from Sydney will be included. So it is equivalent to putting a filter and then only choosing Sydney okay, for my list. Unfortunately, we need the formula instead of doing this a manual way of doing uh, the counting. So let me clear that out. And for that, I will set aside this. We will return to this later. But the first thing that I have to do is I have to filter out the unique okay, values from Sydney. And that would be first to remove anything that is not Sydney in my data. And with that, we will use the filter function. Just like the unique function, filter function is a relatively new function in Excel. And its job is to filter a list of values, in this case, again, B2, to B38. Okay. And then, comma, but you need to set a condition that it has to be from this branch only or uh, condition determined in another column. So in this case, we will highlight the corresponding cells of column B to column C. So we'll start with C2 because we want B2 to B38 to be, to be matched with corresponding cells in C2 to C38. So C2 to C38, okay, perfectly aligned. But this one we have to use as a condition. So as you could see in the guide, it says here, include. So we're only going to include only if the values are Sydney, for example. So enter. And now we have not just all the list, okay, and like the unique value and the unique function that it listed down everything. It only listed down the values under column B if the condition is Sydney. So enter. However, this is not a unique list. This is just the filtered data of column B. And you will notice that there are uh, duplicates like this one here. We have this ethereal charm pendant. Okay, twice, and then we have shadow, locks, sunglasses also appearing twice in my data. So I have to remove them, and we just previously learned how to remove values from uh, how to remove uh, duplicates using a formula, and that is the unique function. So previously, we highlighted a range of cells for the unique function to trim down into the unique values, but this time we're going to remove okay, the duplicates from the results of the filter function. So no problem with that. Unique can handle range of cells or results of another formula that produces an array just like the filter function. So enter. So you, I hope you notice how two values disappeared from my um, list here. And you will notice that I don't have the duplicates anymore. They are all unique. And Maybe you have guessed it right. The next step is to count how many values there are in this list of filtered unique values. And that would mean I would have to enclose this into the count A function. So the count A function will count anything in that result okay, of the filter unique uh, combination. And then we hit enter and it gives us seven so based on this there are seven unique values from uh, sydney okay under column b so if you want to use this formula you simply have to change the range of cells that are involved here and then of course the condition that you set now i hope this video helped you if ever this is what you're looking for that made you go to our page here if ever you have questions, feel free to use the comment section and we would be glad to create a video for you. Uh, as long as we have time, we, we really do our best to find time. And if ever this video helped you, I really like this video, we would appreciate a like and subscribe in the channel. It really helps us content creators create videos okay, for you guys. But for now, this is it. I hope this helped you and I'll see you in the next video.